Hi guys, I keep getting asked questions about putting capacitors across the solar panel on my solar projects. And, well, to be honest, I've never found any benefit. Now, I've just tried putting a super capacitor on there. So, fair enough, that's not an ordinary capacitor, it's a super capacitor. That one is actually... It's on the back of it. Can you see that? 6... Oh, come on, stay on now. 6.3 volts, 4,700 microfarads. So... We'll give it some artificial sunlight. Away it goes, and it stops. So it didn't keep running for any difference any longer than it would have done otherwise, as far as I'm concerned. Um, over in the window here, that fella has got a super capacitor across his solar panel and he does keep running for a long time but he's using very little current so you see all the other solar rockers round by him have stopped well ignore that one because that one hasn't got anything in it but that one's not rocking that one's whoa, a tiny bit of movement that one's not moving that one's not moving, that one's not moving. That one is, that yellow one isn't. But he keeps going for quite a while after the sun's gone down because he's running off that super capacitor. I'll give it a try with this capacitor. It's an electrolytic, it's not a super capacitor. 2.8 microfarads, 400 volts. So that's 2.8 microfarads compared to 4,700 microfarads on that one. So that one's got much more capacity than that one. Right, so that's the smaller capacitor across the motor. Focus again, yeah. Oh, motor's spinning, we're not making connection. Uh, nothing. Is that going backwards? Ah, I know what happened. I knocked that off. I'll put it back on properly. Right, sorry about that the panel off and it's rubbing against the wheels. Right, did that go any longer? I don't think it made much difference, if any. So, my personal opinion is, no, it didn't make any difference. Um, obviously I could try different size capacitors, different values. The main thing about having a capacitor on there, well, there's, there's two things. It depends what you're using it for. In a case like this, the capacitor is only going to be any use 
if it receives charge while the motor is running. If all the charges go into the motor and the capacitor isn't charging, then when the sun goes in, there's no charge in that capacitor anyway. If there is charge in it, it's going to discharge pretty quickly. So it might keep the motor running for a split second, but it's not going to be for minutes or anything like that. I guess what we could do is we could shine the light on it and see how long it keeps running when I take the light away. Uh, did you notice a difference? <laughs> Like I say, obviously I could try a whole range of different capacitors. But we've tried a super capacitor, and we've tried a... whatever I just said that one was. 2.8 farads, 400 volts. So it might keep it going for the briefest few seconds. But it's not keeping it running for minutes or or even countable seconds to be honest well thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment so i know how i'm doing